I know that some students out there are lucky enough to have no other obligations when studying for the LSAT, but if you are working, if you're in school, possibly both, it can be tough to fit in the time. And so I wanted to share with you some advice for fitting LSAT prep into your busy schedule when you have these other obligations. Now, if you are working full time or you're in school and you wanna fit in some LSAT prep time during the week, it's not easy, but it's possible. Say for example, you are working your standard nine to five or nine to six job and you're commuting into the office. Maybe you can fit in one hour before work if you're able to get to work early. Maybe you study in an empty conference room at the office or maybe you study at a coffee shop or library near the office. Easier to do it out of the house than in the house. I find that in the house, of course, there are far too many distractions. Maybe you can do the same during lunch where you have a break for lunch of 30 to 60 minutes. You can fit in some LSAT prep time during that break as well. And then after work, same deal. You study in a conference room or at a coffee shop nearby and you squeeze in yet another hour before you get home. So right there, you have potentially fit in two and a half to three hours on a busy weekday. And then of course, you can do a bit more on the weekends, maybe four to five hours on Saturday and Sunday. And let's say you were to do five hours Saturday, five hours Sunday, that's 10 hours on the weekend, plus three hours a day, five days a week during the week. That gives you 25 hours of LSAT prep time. It's not always gonna be 25, of course, maybe some weeks it'll be 15, some it'll be 20, some it might even be less, but it is possible to fit in up to 15 to 25 hours in a single week while working full time. Now, this does require that your work is not too busy. It requires that you're not working long hours for overtime and that of course you are getting a lunch break. So if you can get buy-in from your boss, if you can let them know you're taking the LSAT, that's always ideal. I know some folks can't tell their job because they don't want the job to worry. They're gonna leave the job when they go to law school totally understood. In that case, of course, you're going to want to study more on the weekends and do your studying out of the office. Now, if you are in school, if you're an undergrad or in a master's program, it can be tough to fit in LSAT prep time as well because your academic coursework will always seem more pressing. So for this reason, I recommend that you take a relatively lighter course load during the semester that you're studying for the LSAT. If you can take part-time classes or take the minimum number required, that's ideal because when you think about it, your LSAT score weighs more heavily than undergrad does in the admissions process, yet it's one single two and a half hour test and undergrad is four plus years of classes combined, yet the LSAT weighs more heavily. So when you look at it from that perspective, it's well worth taking a lighter course load and maybe giving the LSAT the priority slot in your schedule and doing a little bit less of your coursework until after the LSAT. Not saying it's easy, but that would be the best thing to do if you were gonna be ruthless about focusing on the LSAT and focusing on getting to the best law school possible. Now, extracurriculars I know are very tempting in undergrad. I was part of a lot of extracurriculars when I was an undergrad, but the thing is that law schools don't really care about them. They're great for socializing, they're great for having fun, and I'm not saying don't do them, but to do them when you're studying for the LSAT, is really prioritizing the short term over the long term because law schools aren't gonna care what your extracurriculars were in undergrad and employers won't care about what you did in undergrad. They're gonna care about what you did in law school. And that requires, of course, getting into law school and they're gonna care about the prestige of the law school you go to and you're gonna care about how much scholarship money you got from the law schools. And so the name of the game to get into the best school possible with as much scholarship money as possible is of course getting the highest LSAT possible and that requires blocking off time in your schedule for the LSAT. Ideally, every single day, you're blocking off at least 30 to 60 minutes. And then of course, ideally, much more on the weekend. And so if you want to put in four to five hours on each weekend day, that means your brain is sharp, you're not hungover, you're not tired, you didn't go out the night before. And so that requires that you maybe put the socializing and partying on the back burner when you're an undergrad so that you can, at least for that semester, just so you can knock out the LSAT after that, you can, of course, go back to everything you were missing out on, but sacrifice the short term for the long term, even if it's not fun, even if it requires staying in sometimes. But if you can do this grind for just a couple of months, it may pay off huge when you hit that goal score on the LSAT. Now, 
You also want to make sure that you're not taking on all sections of the LSAT at once because that can be overwhelming. Of course, you've got three sections of the LSAT currently, games, reasoning, reading comp. Maybe you want to focus on one section at a time. Not that you want to get rusty on the others, but in a given week, you'll do all three. But on any given day, you do only one of the three. Just you're not taking on too much at once and you're not getting overwhelmed. And if you'd like my help in crafting the perfect personalized day-by-day -day study plan for you, that is something we offer at LSAT Unplugged, where we help you craft exactly what to do every single day over the course of your prep. You can check out the links below the video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd be glad to help you out. And in the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.